Hi, this is PJ at Rocco's, and we're going to show you today how to make lawn, okay? First of all, we're going to get a few things together. You need everything clean. Everything needs to be clean. Uh, find you a good home brewer shop and get, uh, get you some supplies from home brewing. This is sanitizer. Everything's got to be clean. Wash your bottle out with sanitizer. Uh, this is some cleaning fluid, some uh, five-star PBW cleaning. So you want to clean it, you want to sanitize it, then you're ready to go with uh, adding your ingredients. So uh, uh, some of the tools are, uh, I have a wine making book, I got that at a little garage sale. And uh, you need a jar, okay, get you like a little gallon wine jar or something. And uh, you got airlock, this is an airlock from the brewer's store. It lets gas out, you fill it with a little water, it lets gas out, it doesn't let the air back in. Or you can get some fancier things like this, you know, that comes from the store, from the brew uh, store. Uh, you can use a funnel, you might want to use a funnel, and some tubing, you know, that's going to get into later when you start making larger gallons like this. Okay, so you got all your equipment, you're going to need some sugar, you're going to need some uh, yeast, and you know, I got this Red Star, I was really using some bacon uh, yeast, but you know, it's better to use the, the yeast from the supply house. So, we got all our equipment together, and then we're going to, uh, we got everything sanitized, we got it all clean, and then we're going to start making some wine, okay? So, now you got your fruit. You take your wine bottle and you put your fruit in, okay? Now you fill it up to about a third. Other way, somewhere up in here, okay? Give or take a little. You want all your fruit in, okay? Now you have your wine. You have your fruit in your bottle. And uh, we're going to add some sugar. Okay, so you take your sugar. Now we're going to put about, in this size, I would say about four cups of sugar. So we're going to put four cups of sugar in there, okay? Take your sugar, pour it in here like this, okay? Any kind of sugar you want. Sometimes you can add brown sugar if you think that's going to enhance the taste. Uh, because I use like some banana wine and I use the brown sugar and it came out really good. So we're going to get a little funnel, okay? Put your funnel, add your sugar. Okay, this is one cup of sugar. And like I said, we're going to use about four cups in here. Maybe five if you want it really sweet. So this is uh, part of the process. You put your, your, uh, your fresh fruit, cut up some fresh fruit, make it look all nice, okay? Put your sugar in. You got, you got your sugar. Let me clean get everything out of the way. Um, you got your sugar going. Okay. Then you're going to take and add your yeast. Now, like I said, you can get a, a good wine yeast from a brew shop, or you can use stuff from the grocery store, either one. But I got this from the brew shop, some kind of red star, okay? Put a, just a pinch, just a pinch in your hand, you know, like a pinch of salt. Okay, that's all you need. Okay, so you take your yeast, put it in here, add your yeast. Okay, now you got that going. Okay, I want to add one or two more cups of sugar. Let's get that in there, okay. At least one or two more, yeah. I got two in there already. So this will be three. Whoa! Okay, we got three. Three cups in here now. Now this is going to be number four. Add your sugar. Three. Oh yeah, that looks good now. Alright, now we got one more. About four pounds of sugar, almost exactly. Okay? In that, it takes a lot of sugar to make wine, okay? So it's going to take a good bit. That is going to be a sweet wine. Uh, you can adjust your recipe. This is a basic recipe. Fruit, sugar, yeast, and water. Okay? And once you get this done, you can adjust it to your liking. Like I said, if you want to try a little brown sugar in there, 
Uh, you can make brown sugar with just some white sugar and some backstrap molasses. Just make your own brown sugar. And then you got uh, a little bit of brown sugar flavor in there. Okay, so we got a food of sugar, a yeast. The rest is going to be filled with water. Let me put a little water in here, get this going. And, uh, okay. So I'll fill it with water. Here we go, add in the water. Okay. Now you're going to want to go, you're going to give it a little room to breathe. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top, but just right below. Give it some space to grow because it's definitely going to increase in volume. So we're going to go up to about a little bit more. That should do it for a moment. There you go. Okay, now we got water. Now you got your fruit, your sugar, your yeast. You got some water in there. Okay, now you're going to put a top on it. I don't have one the right size for this jug, so I'm just going to improvise and make my own. I have a little glove, a latex glove. I'm going to wrap that on there. Cooper wanted to use a condom, but I told him no. So we're going to put a rubber band around it so that it can breathe. Now it's going to breathe, and the, the glove is going to uh, increase in size and get bigger as the carbon monoxide uh, or dioxide. I'm not sure one of them. Anyway, this is going to uh, get bigger as the... Uh, the fruit breaks down, the sugar's gonna break down the fruit with the yeast, uh, and 30 days, you're gonna have one. Now you need some kind of airlock on the top to keep fresh air from getting in there. You wanna keep it tight. I just put some rubber bands on there. <coughs> and gloves, so that's gonna uh, breathe on its own. And later on, I'll show you how to make a larger gallon, larger, five and six gallon tanks, same ingredients, same thing. You want about this much fruit. You want, sometimes we go in between four and 14 pounds of sugar in five gallons, okay? Five gallon takes between four and 14 pounds. Get your little book, and in this book, it's gonna tell you and give you some ideas. You don't have to read exactly, skip to any page and pick up little ideas as you go. So. There's other things you can do to speed up the process a little bit. Like, if you make a simple syrup, take your water, heat it up, and uh, there's all your sugar in the water. That way you can pour it in there all at once, and you don't get lumps of sugar. You know, so you definitely refine your methods as you go along, okay? So, like I said, everything has to be sanitized. We got a little squirt bottle with a little white light in there from grain alcohol. Keep it, uh, keep it all sanitized, and then we then I have wine in 30 days, and you got your tools, your supplies. There's your wine. You want it in a uh, in a dark, damp place. You can cover it up. I made this five gallons. I cover it with my shirt, okay? Because you don't want it in a window, and you don't want it. Uh, you want it in a pool. <coughs> So, find a place to stick it. I'll put a shirt over it. Snap it up like that. And just let it sit for 30 days. And the next thing you know, you're gonna have some fine drinking wine. Um, well, the chemist said, we made some banana wine and we used some brown sugar. Uh, well, the chemist said, God bless the banana wine. You put some honey. You can also put some honey in there if you want. Add a little honey. <coughs> You can add a little molasses. Now, the amount you used, this is about a, a 16 ounce bottle, so I used half of it in five gallons, in addition to the sugar. So, wine takes a lot of sugar. And as you go, you refine your methods, and later on we're gonna show you some different tricks on how to make larger quantities and how to adapt your recipe. You're gonna have your own recipe, it's gonna be yours. You tweak it, you twerk it, you get it right, and uh, you're gonna have your own wine. Okay, great. Don't forget to share.
And don't forget to share and subscribe. And uh, we'll see y'all later.